Howdy, AP Breakout. It is Ms. Cash. I'm looking at Mr. Passwater's notes from 1.9 and 1.10. Um, and he starts to talk about um, vertical asymptotes and holes. Um, and so what happens here is a hole is, is what you find when, um, when a term shows up in both the numerator and the denominator, when it removes itself. Um, okay, so on this one, we have an x minus 1 in both the numerator and the denominator. So this will look like this equation right here will look like y equals x plus 2. So I like to write look like and then I um, and then I but then I recognize that it has a hole when x equals 1 and I plug in 1 to this equation so it's going to have a hole at 1 3. Um, what did he do? He graphed. Um, oh, and the next one, okay, this one cleans up to look like um, x minus 1 over 2. Okay, that's also linear. Um, cool. Okay. Um, oh, and I'm like, why? He didn't graph either of those. Okay, sorry. Um, now I'm realizing here's, here's an equation, here's a graph that's got a hole, and it doesn't relate to these top two. I was trying to connect them, and I was rather confused. Um, the graph here has a hole. You can see that we tried to indicate that there's, can you, here watch, Ooh, that's as zoomed in as I can get. Um, there's a hole, so we would indicate that and set x equals 1, and so it's got the, this hole has the coordinates 1, 3, and so what we'll say, and I forgot to do this in my notes, is that the limit as x goes to 1 from the left of f of x is equal to 3, which is that value, the value we would get when we, um, once you remove the hole from the equation, if you plug in this x value, you should get that y value. Um, and then it would be the limit as x goes to 1 from the right of f of x is equal to 3. Okay, a vertical asymptote is where we have um, this x minus 1 not, doesn't cancel with anything on top. So this would have an asymptote of x equals 1. This would also, well, so part of this, it does, this one right here does um, cancel a little bit. It looks like x minus 1 over, I lied, x plus 2 over x minus 1. So this is what this guy is going to look like. I'm going to write look like this. Um, but the 1 is an asymptote because, I mean, you think, oh, it removed itself, it's a hole. Well, no, it removed itself, sure, but it was still left behind, and that the asymptote trumps um, a hole. Okay? And so on this one, we've got this asymptote, and we will approach the asymptote from the left and the right. So can you see how this how this notation looks? It's saying the limit as x approaches 1 from, that negative tells us from the left of f of x equals. Well, as I approach from the left, what am I doing? I'm going to negative infinity. Oh, you, could you see my graph? As I approach from the left, as I get closer and closer on the, from the left-hand side, I'm going to negative infinity. On this one, what happens as I approach from the right? I go to positive infinity. Okay. Oh, my. Let's see. I have to teach pretty soon, so we'll see how far I make it. Um, all right, on this one we have a hole. Um, the, we have a hole at x equals negative 3. Um, is that all they asked us for? Oh, and a vertical. So this is a hole. And then we have an asymptote at x equals 5. On this one, um, this would cancel with that, and one of these would cancel with that. And so this ends up looking like x minus 2 over x plus 1. So we have a hole um, at x equals 2, and we have an asymptote with, with what's left, and that's x equals negative 1. This one, nothing cancels, but we do have a vertical asymptote. Um, this becomes um, x times x squared plus 4. This, in order, that, so right here, we have an asymptote at x equals 0. This part right here, to, if I set x squared plus 4 equal to 0, all of a sudden I'm leaving the real world and I have x is equal to plus or minus 2i, which is cool, but good luck graphing that on your um, real axis. Get it? You can't. I mean, you can't. There's no, there's nothing you can plug in for this x that will make this part go to zero. There's no real number, because all we do is graph real numbers. Okay, write a left hand and a right hand as it approaches 2. Okay, so what's happening as we approach 2? Um, this is top heavy. Oh, no, what do we want to do? We want to, I'm sorry, I haven't thought about this yet. We want to get some scratch paper. What I have here, I might have to graph this. I have an asymptote at two, and I have a, um, a another asymptote. I'm gonna have a, an asymptote with a slope of one. I don't know exactly where it is. I, I should be more precise, perhaps. Um, but I know I have a point at, um, I have a zero at one, 
and I have a zero at negative three, so somewhere over here. So um, this asymptote is probably up here, and it's probably doing something like this, and therefore it's doing this. I think that's right. You know what? Let me be more precise. Okay, sorry. Um, let's hand as it approaches two. I think I think that we're going to say the limit as x goes to two from the left of f of x. I think this is going to go to negative infinity. Um, I'm going to be so bold as to write it down, but let's see if I'm right. Um, this becomes x squared um, minus x plus three x. So plus two x minus three is being divided by x minus two. When I divide, um, I have one, two, negative three, two, one times two is two, this is a four. Okay, so my equation was, what I get is I have an asymptote at positive two, x equals positive two, and then at one, two, three, four, here's this other asymptote. Um, and so it's that's at six. And so then what did I say? I said I had a zero at one and a zero, I was right. Okay, it does look woo, something like that and something like up here. Oh, that was a mess. Um, but yes, as I get closer and closer to this asymptote, I'm actually, my graph is going down. I was right, you guys. Um, don't act so surprised. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, what was it? My brothers would tell me, act like you've been here. <laughs> um, and so this is going to go to positive infinity. Um, I thought that was funny. And hopefully you laughed too. Okay, so we're approaching two. Okay, so with this one, two is now a, a Z. I lied. Two is a whole. It's gone, so what's the value? When I plug in two, I end up getting six over negative one. So the limit as x approaches um, two from the left of, this is g of x, is gonna equal negative six. And the limit, because it approaches the y value of the whole, um, as it goes to two from the right of g of x, is also equal to negative six. Okay, what's happening in this next one? Ay, 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 we got all sorts of things happening. Um, I see an x minus 4 over an x minus 2 times an x minus 1. So that's an asymptote. Um, I have an asymptote at 1. You can't see what I'm doing. I have an asymptote at 1. I have an asymptote at 2. So what's happening as I approach it? Mm -hmm. um, so probably what I would do is plug in something. Let's plug in. So this is when x equals 2. Let's plug in 3. Um, if I plug in three, I have three minus four over, okay, so I have negative one over uh, one times two, so two, so at three, I'm at negative one half, so I'm here. Does that help me? Well, we're bottom heavy, so we're gonna have an asymptote, like, so it's probably doing this, because it has to stay, we have an asymptote at y equals zero. I wonder if he, were we just supposed to uh, do this by hand? I mean, this just gets kind of gross. We have a zero at four. Oh, that's way over here. Okay, so probably what's happening, I lied to you, it's probably coming up, coming over, and then turning around and approaching it again. Do you know what? Let's, I my next class is about to walk in. Let's take a minute and cheat. I mean, not cheat. Let's utilize our resources. <laughs> um, okay, so I have a fraction. One of these was x minus four. The other one is x. I'm not sure how he wanted to do this without a calculator at this point in the course, but um, okay, parentheses x minus two squared. Okay, let me know if I'm typing this in correctly. Oh, and now you can't see the equation. I can, but you can't. Um, and then an x minus one. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my window, I'm just going to do a standard window. I don't know who was using this calculator last. Okay, as we approach two, oh, notice this. Okay, so let me change my window. Let's get some more um, y values. So we'll go up to 20. Okay, that's what I expected to see. Here it is. So this asymptote right here is x equals two. So as we come from the left-hand side, we're going to positive infinity. The limit as x goes to two from the, oh, from the left, it's a negative, of h of x goes to infinity. The limit as x goes to two from the right of h of x is over here. It was coming from the right. It goes to negative infinity. Um, I need to get ready for my next class. So hopefully that's helpful. We'll see if I can um, come back for these last couple ones. Um, but 
I'll see you in the next video. Okay, like, subscribe, comment, let me know how I can be of assistance to you. Go practice.